Thank you, Chairman Durbin, uh, and my thanks to both of you um, for um, your long service. Uh, it is inspiring to me to have such highly qualified and impressive candidates before us. Uh, both of you have demonstrated a commitment to justice and fairness um, throughout your extraordinary legal careers. Um, you would also bring greatly needed professional diversity to the circuit, the courts to which you've been nominated, uh, given your long experience as public defenders. And I'm proud to support President Biden's uh, commitment uh, to diversity of all kinds, um, but in your cases, particularly professional diversity. So I look forward to supporting your nominations. Um, Ms. Lee, I was um, struck to learn that over 70 former federal prosecutors in New York, so the very people against whom you were litigating over and over and over in court, signed a letter in support of your confirmation. Um, they called you brilliant and accomplished uh, and said you are the right candidate at the right time for this important seat. Can you speak to how you've maintained mutual respect and collegiality with the very prosecutors against whom you were often in court and how that approach will translate to your service as a judge on the Second Circuit? Yes, uh, thank you for the question, Senator. I think one uh, important factor for me over my career that I have learned is that everyone is fulfilling their role in the system. Uh, you go up in court against another attorney who's, who's representing the government and it's about the role. They're supposed to do their best. We're supposed to do our best. It's not about, uh, it's not personal. And I think that a lot of the attorneys who I've gone up against in court have recognized that, or realized that I also understand that and that I'm serving an important role and that we're, you know, we make uh, vigorous and strong arguments against one another, but it's what the system requires. And so I think that the attorneys who I've uh, appeared with and against uh, respect that and understand that. And I think when you're dealing with others, other attorneys in a fair and open way, um, they do respond to that as well. And uh, more broadly, in terms of prosecutors signing on and, and, and encouraging uh, the appointment of someone with a public defender background, I think many of the attorneys in the, the criminal field in particular also understand the, the importance of balance and, and do respect the role uh, of a public defender in the system. And so I think that's part of the reason for the support. Um, well, thank you for that answer um, and for your conduct as a public defender that would lead um, to such a, a sterling um, letter of, of support from the very prosecutors against whom you were often in court. Ms. Rossman, you similarly received a letter from a, a broad range of over 90 members of the Colorado legal community. It includes former prosecutors, but also government attorneys and many others. And that letter describes you as having an abiding respect for your colleagues on the other side of the aisle in the courtroom and a commitment to fairness and collegiality. I have the same question for you. Can you speak to how you developed um, this professional courtesy, this collegiality, and how would that bear on your service on the circuit court? Thank you for that question, Senator. Uh, again, I have to echo Ms. Lee. Everyone plays their role in this system. And in my experience, it has been a privilege and a collegial experience the thing that I have recognized is that each party represents their interests, but we are all officers of the court. And that informs our practice, that everything that each side does is done ethically within the bounds of the rule of law, because doing it any other way wouldn't be appropriate, wouldn't advance the cause. And I've just found in my experience that it is a, one of mutual respect, even when it's a contentious case or contentious issue. And I think that that sort of mutual respect and professionalism is so important to the integrity of the legal profession. And it restores the public's faith, I would hope, in the justice system. Ms. Rasman, Ms. Lee, um, as public defenders, um, part of your role is to be an advocate, um, to be an advocate for your clients, to be an advocate uh, for justice. Um, but the role of a judge is distinct um, from the role of an advocate. Could you just uh, take a moment and distinguish the difference in your mind between your service as a public defender and your service should, be, should you be confirmed as a judge on the circuit? Ms. Rasman, first, then Ms. Lee. Thank you, Senator. The roles could not be more different. 
the role of an advocate is nothing like the role of a judge, and I have reflected on this quite deeply. A judge needs to be neutral, impartial. An advocate proceeds within the rule of law, is also an officer of the court, but has a very different focused objective. Over the course of my career, I have had a number of different roles that have required a number of different types of uh, behavior and conduct and, uh, and approaches. And I am confident that recognizing the difference between what an advocate does and what a judge does will serve me well if I'm confirmed. Thank you. Ms. Lee? Yes. Um, I, would, I would echo uh, what Ms. Rossman said about the importance and the, the distinct nature of the roles. And uh, really, the, the only point I would add is that uh, being a public defender for all of these years, I uh, critically recognize the importance of a fair decision maker. That is the thing that all of the clients who I've represented over the years have wanted. And so I would take that duty to be that kind of decision maker uh, incredibly serious, should I be so fortunate to be confirmed. Well, thank you, Ms. Lee, Ms. Rossman. I appreciate your answers, and I look forward to supporting your nominations. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Kuhn. Senator Tillis. 